Hello dear students welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss the chapter alcohol phenol ether and the last video of this chapter which is about the ether mainly and the chemical properties of ether basically we are going to discuss we have already made the last video you can check it out jaake dekh lijiye usme humne kuch properties discuss ki thi chemical properties jisme kuch chemical reactions thi the first one was about peroxide formation the second one Lewis acid and the third one was with sulfuric acid. Today we are going to start with the fourth reaction which is reaction of ether with halogen acids. Halogen acids. Let's understand it very deeply. So aap samajh paaye. So yahan par hame halogen acid se treat karna right? so you can take ether this is ror and this is known as ether is treated with halogen acids means hx hbr or kuch bhi ho sakta hai yahan pe aap agar dilute and cold mein reaction proceed kar rahe ho so reaction mein substitution ho ke rx plus r dash oh banega wahi agar hum yahi reaction ko proceed karte hain in the presence of ror but hot and excess excess amount mein agar humne acid liya hai twice to ek bar humne dilute and cold liya ek bar humne excess mein liya to jo product aaya the product was same 2 moles of rx but sath mein kya bana isme pani क्या बनेगा साथ में पानी ठीक है तो ये रिएक्शन कुछ इस तरह से होती है रिएक्टिविटी अगर आप ऑर्डर आपको लिखना है तो लिख लीजिए इस रिएक्शन की रिएक्टिविटी ऑर्डर एज यू नो डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइज तो एच आई बॉन्ड जो है इजीली ब्रेकडाउन हो सकता है तो उसका हाई रिएक्टिविटी होता है देन एच बी आर देन एच सी एल सो दिस इज हाउ द रिएक्शन गोस ओके आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस the second reaction which we are going to discuss which is number 5th reaction is we can all, also discuss the uh, mechanism later on so you can get check it out the later on videos next reaction is with a mixed ether with a mixed ether what we are writing with a mixed ether Mixed ether, the X minus is taken with smaller alkyl groups. How come? Let's discuss the example. Suppose you have CH three CH two, O CH three. When H I attack on it, the S N one reaction takes place in the cold. So, the reaction will be like that. This bond will break down, and H will attack. on the bigger side and i will attack on the smaller alkyl group so the reaction will be form ch3ch2oh ethanol plus ch3hi ch3i okay you can write down one more example regarding that suppose you have c2 or c6h5o ch3 that is anisole very common plus h i this will form c6h5oh that is phenol plus ch3i i hope it will be clear in your mind if mixed ether will be take the i attack or x attack on the small alkyl groups the next method we are going to discuss is acylation by r co cl or we can write down r co whole twice whole twice o acid chlorides acid chlorides or acid and hydrates and this reaction takes place in the presence of anhydrous 
anhydrous Zn Cl2. The reaction, the product will be esters. Product will be esters. Ester you must have heard about. In this reaction, the ester will be formed. Let's discuss the reaction. Suppose you have ether, ROR is reacting with RC double bond O, Cl, acid chloride, right? This will give in the presence of anhydrous ZnCl2, RC double bond O, R plus R. There are so many R's, right? So which R is which one? Let's discuss with the example so you can get clear it. Suppose you have CH3 or you can take bigger also diethyl C2H5O C2H5 right now you can understand plus now we have added acetyl chloride so that will be CH3 C double bond O Cl acetyl chloride जब ये ऑक्सीड होगा तो क्या बनेगा इथाइल एसिटेट राइट CH3 C डबल बॉन्ड O CH3 C डबल बॉन्ड O O C2 H5 O C2 H5 प्लस प्लस C2 H5 Cl राइट सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल I have also told you about uh, the reaction can proceed with CO2 O plus ROR Let's take some other alkyl groups ROR dash in the presence anhydrous ZnCl2 the reaction goes like that two moles of R second O O R dash will be formed in this reaction example you can write down ch3 co hold twice o that is acetic anhydride acetic anhydride plus c2h5 o c2h5 this is your diethyl ether in the presence of n z and cl2 it will give two moles of CH3 C double bond O O C2 H5 This is called ethyl acetate ethyl acetate So this is how the reaction goes for this you can write down the example So the next reaction in this is reaction number 6 which is with with कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड इन दिस रिएक्शन अगेन द स्टर विल बी फॉर्म दैट इज आर ओ आर एश स्ट्रीटेड विथ सी ओ इन दस ऑफ बी एफ थ्री वन फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस अंडर प्रेशर under pressure it will give r c double bond o o r this is the reaction let's write down the example regarding that suppose c2 h5 o c2 h5 again the same example in the presence of bf3 150 degree celsius it will give c2 h5 c double bond o o c2 h5 so this will be the reaction it is known as ethyl ethyl this is ethyl and propane no it propane no ethyl propane it is named as next reaction will be with pcl3 so when ror ester is treated with pcl3 by heating it will give two moles of rcl plus po cl3 
this will be the result eighth reaction is halogenation we will write down the example later on halogenation in the halogenation reaction ether reacts with chlorine cl2 so first when the presence of dark medium so that is your ether cl2 dark it will give suppose uh, we have to write down the example so you can understand better this is ether in the presence of cl it will give like that for the reaction it will one it is name is 11 dichloro diethyl ether okay but in case of sunlight sunlight medium cl2 react with it and it will form ccl3 o ccl3 all the h will be removed this is known as per chloro diethyl ether per chloro diethyl ether the next few reactions which we are going to discuss is number 9 that is dehydration dehydration means removing of water molecule in this reaction c2h5o c2h5 in the presence of l2o3 heated at 360 degrees celsius temperature is very important it will give ethene plus water molecule will be removed so two moles this will form ethene and this will also form ethene and the water molecule removed the next reaction number 10 is bromination in the reaction bromination anisole or you can tag in the presence of br2 ch2 reagent it will give it is ortho and para directing so one is at ortho and one in is at para but you must remember para will be 67% ortho will be 31% in this reaction the next reaction number 10 is with nitration in the case of nitration reaction concentrated h2so4 and concentrated hno3 mainly hno3 comes with the h2so4 it will again give ortho and para product that is no2 here and no2 here so it can be then ortho nitro anisole or this is para anisole remember para is always major product and ortho is minor product due to stresses one homework i am giving you in this reaction find electrophilic substitution how does it takes place in nit and bromination ortho and para products jo humne banaye thanks for watching